Hi, Accountability Partners. David Halpern of Mastery Consulting here to talk with you about the three forms of accountability in business. And here they are. If you're taking notes, jot this down. And if you're not taking notes, jot it down anyway. Ready, number one, daily accountability. Number two, weekly accountability. And number three, a monthly quarterly accountability that's a board of directors type presentation. Today, we're gonna to focus on the daily and the weekly. Are you ready? Let's talk daily accountability. Well, you're already in a program for daily accountability, so what does it even mean? Daily accountability simply means sharing with someone else what you do yesterday, what you're committing to doing today, and then any other dialogue about where you're stuck. It's what did I do yesterday? What am I committing to doing today? And where am I stuck? Well, you may be saying, yeah, but I'm just sending you a couple of questions that you're responding to. Yes, but there are people in this program that use it way beyond most of you. And what they're doing is there are people that are texting with me multiple times a day. And what they're doing is they said, to heck with this. I don't care if this only costs whatever it costs and it's not a thousand bucks a month like other coaching programs out there. I'm going to ask all kinds of questions and get all kinds of advice and counsel over and beyond responding to my daily questions. Ooh. I'm getting people that are asking me questions about time management, marketing, database marketing, entrepreneurial mindset, leverage and delegation, business skills and tools. They're using it. By the way, accountability is nothing more than a conversation, a dialogue. And the people that are using me to walk alongside them are really taking advantage of this. By the way, this concept was popularized by a business consulting rock star in the 1980s named Vern Harnish, who wrote a great book called the Rockefeller Habits. It's, it's a little bit like an MBA in a book. For those of you that are heavy business readers, I kind of encourage you to pick that up. But in it, he says that organizations that pulse faster, pulse, P-U-L-S-E, grow faster. In other words, the more frequent the dialogue, the better the growth. And that's why this daily accountability is powerful if you, sim if you simply use it. You know, some of you know my theory about measuring and accountability. Let's, let's assume you wanna lose weight, right? I don't care what you eat. I don't even care how much you exercise. All I care about is that you write, you get on a scale every day and write down your weight in a spreadsheet and share it with other people, either out loud or in writing. You do that for 365 consecutive days and keep show, just keep showing up. Again, I don't care what you ate. I don't care how much you exercise. You lost weight. And that's the way this accountability program works. It works if you use it. Make sense? Okay, the second form of accountability is the weekly accountability. The weekly meeting is the staple in corporate America. It's the bread and butter of a Fortune 500 company. It's when people get together and for a couple minutes of what is typically a 45 minute to one hour meeting, for, for the first 10, 15 minutes ish, the people in the group share their metrics out loud. Again, it's the same accountability. It's what I do yesterday, you know, what, am, what do I commit to today and where am I stuck? And then for the rest of the session, the group tackles one person stuck or block or obstacle and tries to come up with creative possibilities or solutions for getting them unstuck. So if you have an organization with eight or 10 people, each person will go through their metrics. That'll take a total of 10, 15 minutes. And for the other 30 to 40 minutes, you might be discussing one person's challenge and helping with creative possibilities or ideas. I'm going to skip the monthly quarterly accountability and tackle that topic in a different video. But my question for you today is, having learned what you just did about daily accountability and weekly accountability, what will you change ASAP in order to move your daily activities and results?